Hi everyone, this is Aya from Foyer Neo and today I'm going to be taking you through how to work on exterior walls in 3D mode. So we are going to start by going into 3D mode. Now as we can see here initially, um, when you are looking around the space, this is just the automatic uh, setting. It does hide the wall that you are facing to let you look into the room that you're working on. But because we are working on exterior walls for today, we're going to want to turn that off. So just by coming into file and then settings, we do have the option to turn off auto hide wall. And this will let us just look at the exterior. Now from here, we can obviously place whatever texture it is um, that we want on the outside of a wall. So I'll show three examples today. First example will just be a normal brick texture, which is this one. Now, when you do place a texture, it is best to resize it to really get the to really get the look that you're after. So for this one, I'll go a six by four, and you can see how it changes the size of the bricks, and it gives you a more realistic look. Um, I will turn around to the other side now and show a different example, and we'll write cladding. This will obviously be resized different to brick because it's not the same size as brick even in real life. So for this one, we'll resize it as a two by two, just to make the, the paneling in the, in the cladding uh, smaller and give us again, a more realistic look. Now there is always the option of uploading your own texture. And that's just by coming into Google, finding an image, of a texture that you do want to use so for this case i've found this one and all i've had to do is just click on to save image and download it to my computer what this allows me to do is have it um, downloaded as a jpeg so i don't have to worry about converting an image because when you do want to upload a texture the image does have to be in a jpeg or a png file so i'll come into texture tab and click upload texture as you can see it says the same thing right there and all i'll have to do is find that one image and click open and it will upload that texture for me to use so i'll just wait for that for a second okay perfect so once we do have that texture uh, then available we can just with any other thing that we find from within the catalog, just click and drag and customize uh, the number of tiles by resizing it as well. So for this one, I will do a two by three. Now there isn't a set size for each type of texture that you might want to place. It is pretty much depending on the look that you want for the end result. And that's the best way to work around it. So here we have three examples. Um, of looks that we can have on exterior walls. And as you guys can see, I do have a door here and I do have a window. I'll also, I'll also show how to have a shade canopy on top of a window and how to work around that. So I will come into the catalog and look up a wall.cube and just this option right here and just placing it onto the wall. Um, now it is a cube obviously, but there is the ability to be able to resize. And then also rotate it to get the position that we want for this. So I will go into free movement first and then rotate to really give myself um, more options to work with this so for this case i will go down a little and just push this in and just like that i do have um a window shade a window cover and obviously the same way with anything else you can also go into the texture tab grab whatever texture or material it is that you want and place it on top of that. Um, the final thing that I will do with the exterior of this place is put in a roof. So to do that, I will need to turn off, sorry, turn on the auto hide wall. 
so I can see inside. And the, the reason for that is because I do need to be able to see the ceiling. So I'll come back into the catalog and look up what type of roof I want to use. So for this one, I'm going to use this hip shaped roof design. Um, now with, with roof designs, yes, they are going to be on the outside, but we do initially need to place them on the ceiling. And that's the reason for turning um, on the auto hide wall. So after placing it on the ceiling, I'll then click onto free movement to give myself more ability to move it freely. And I'll just move it up like that. Uh, then I will turn off the auto hide wall again, just so I can see the outside and then come in and resize this to fit. Now, once we do resize something that has a bit of shape, um, it kind of loses the depth a little bit. So we will just click on the middle one and drag it down to give it a little bit more depth. And just like that, we have a roof, we have different textures that we can use for the outside of the walls. Um, we also have a window canopy. Um, yeah, I hope that this little tutorial was helpful and happy designing.